a look at something. Now, this, what you're about to see, is one of, one of the most dangerous sports in the world. Be prepared to be scared. Irish women's bobsleigh team, and they are with us tonight. We welcome Leslie Fitzgerald, Magellan Loftus, and Siobhan Ho. <laughs> Not many people know we have a women's bobsleigh team. Sure they don't. Here we are. Here you are, Magella and Leslie and Siobhan. And how did this team come about? Because we don't have an awful lot of snow around here. Well, basically, we come from all different sports. Um, Leslie is a basketball player, uh -huh. and Siobhan is a triple jumper, and I'm a sprinter. But to be honest, Pat, the last while, the only sprinting I've been doing is um, when I've been chased, and that's not too often. So, yeah. <laughs> so you've given up the sprinting, and you've taken this Taking up. Over the bottom, um, yeah. Many people in uh, athletics, when they, they're no longer competitive on the track, decide to, to do something like this, don't they? Yeah. Um, it seems to be a move on from athletics, like Siobhan has moved on. Yeah, what did you do? Yeah, what was your event, Siobhan? I'm national triple jump champion and record holder and have been for the last eight okay, years. Okay, so you've got to have very strong legs, get yeah, that sprint, get that power. take off and, uh, and so on. Um, yeah. You know, I was going to say, the thing is, it's a, um, the Bob says Olympic sport for women for the first time in March 2002. So that's why the team is together at the moment we're trying to... Have you it. competed in together? I mean, there's two in this, isn't that so? Yeah. Uh, and we've got a pair and a spare, in a sense, yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, which of you have competed in internationally? All three. All three, three, all three yeah, 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 last month. Well, you last we were in Austria at the World Cup. How did they react to you in Austria? I mean, Ireland would not be known for its winter sporting activities. Well, well they saw you arriving with the, the green, white, and orange of the Irish... Uh, well, the again. Lycra... Um, was the thinnest of all the countries, so <laughs> that got everybody's attention. But, but um, yeah, when we lined up first, because there was two teams, there was four of us in the green, white, and gold, the Eurosport cameras, and they hadn't yeah. done it for anybody else. It's like cameras came from everywhere, they got people out of the way, and they just came straight at us, because we are, in a way, like the Jamaicans, we are kind of a novelty factor. Yeah, we, are, yeah. we are a novelty yeah. factor. And how did the other competitors react to you? I mean, they must have thought you were no hopers coming from Ireland. Absolutely. Uh, initially, they were all talking to us and really friendly, going, oh, God, here comes the Irish, you know, the poor Irish, or whatever else. <laughs> and then next, we were doing really, really well, like in trials, came at 14th, and then 18th out of 32 countries. And so, they stopped, uh, to stopped talking to us. Yeah. Because you were kind of serious yeah. uh, contenders. Um, the sport, as we saw that little clip showing you in action, now you were not the ones who were knocking your heads against the side with the crash helmets and all that, uh, but it's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, it's extremely dangerous sport. Uh, Siobhan yeah. has had a pretty bad crash. What happened to you, Siobhan? Last Shimon? February, I was travelling down with Audrey Garland and we went over about 80 miles an hour um, in the ninth bend. And the bob continues to move at speed once it's gone over and it goes up and down like a pendulum. Um, so we rushed off to hospital, so it was quite traumatic. And the next time I got to go down was six months later with Leslie here, who had never driven before, doesn't even have a driving license for a car, <laughs> no glasses. And of course, I crashed here again. Do you need a license to drive one of these? You do actually have to get a bus say driver's license, which oh, is quite funny. <laughs> What's even funnier is I'm at the moment I'm the driver, but I can't drive a car. I don't have a driver's license. Yeah, yeah. But I have my little official bus say license. Top there. speed, uh, typically on a on a, a run. What what would it be? About 80 miles an hour. 80 miles an hour. Yeah. Now the kind of controls you have. I mean, it's a flimsy enough device. It's um, fiberglass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have brakes? Yeah, yes. these are the brakes here. Look, this, this yeah. here. Yeah. Okay, just and let that camera see that. And that kind of digs into the ice. Yeah, the teeth, teeth come down. What about steering? Can you steer this thing or are you at the mercy of the yeah. slope? These are called D-rings in there, the pulleys. Okay. And you steer yeah. the blades from the front. Okay, how did you get into this? I mean, who recruited you for Well, um, personally, I was actually working for a sports program called Rapid and uh, thought it would be a very interesting piece to do. And, Rang up Terry McHugh there. Uh -huh. There's Terry. Responsible for it all, but asked if there was a women's bobsleigh team, and um, he said, Fine enough, you should ask putting one together at the moment. Why don't you try out yourself? You're athletic. And um, went to the trials, heard nothing else whatsoever until November. And I got a call, and he said, Are you still free to 
That's only last November. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And you've already six, six, competed internationally. Yeah, in the World Cup. Just and, filmed and how did you get into it? It was the same as Leslie. Just I had heard about it, was really interested in doing it. And sprinting was my background, so I just said, OK, let me have a go at this. Yeah, that's what? Um, I took part in trials last January, this time last year, and went to Bob School in Norway. Bob School? Bob School, yeah, <laughs> to learn how to drive and compete in the World Cup in Norway in yeah, January. It seems February. incredible progress in such a short time. <laughs> Terry McHugh, what on earth possessed you to, to think that this could be done even? Well, I mean, it's like everything. Uh, it's an international sport, it's an Olympic sport. It's been there for, I don't know, 40 odd years. Um, I think every country has its difficulties in competing in setting. It's very elitist. Even countries with tracks only have limited access to the tracks. The association itself was started up in 1986 when an Irish businessman who lives in England uh, went on a, on a ski holiday and his wife bought him a voucher for a bob run and he just thought it was the, the, the biggest buzz he'd ever had. And uh, he recruited Pat and some other oarsmen to, um, to form the first, uh, first team. So we've been going over 12 years. I don't know if not a lot of people know that maybe. We're going over 12 years. We've qualified for three Olympics, 1988, 92 and 98. Uh, Pat and boys, because of the previous president of the Olympic Council, it wasn't recognised, so they didn't allow them to compete in 88. But we've been very fortunate to, uh, say, qualify and compete in 92 and uh, 98. And how have we done? Well, we've done exceptionally well. I mean, on both occasions, we've been the better of the nations without, without a track and without snow. Um, we are 32nd in Alberville. Pat was driving, I was pushing him. And there were, I think there were 49 uh, in that Olympics. And the next one... I was pushing Jeff Pamplin, and we had 28th, I think, out of 40, 48. Okay, which is for a country with no snow, compared to the white nations, as they call them, you did pretty well. Okay, so it's over to the women now for 2002. You have to qualify, I presume. You have to qualify. And when will you know whether you qualify or not? About this time next year. Yeah. Yeah, we have to complete okay. the rest of the season. Off to Calgary next season. week, and then down to Salt Lake City, where the Olympic track is, for for three weeks, and then that's kind of the exciting season over to, over to next October again. Okay, you know the way when people, you talk about the women's bobsleigh team, people would think it's a joke, but well, folks, it is not a joke. No, no. These girls are deadly serious, Absolutely. and we'll be keeping an eye on your progress. Okay. Wish you the very best of luck. Thank you very, Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you.